fucking bang. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Arena video. Today we are looking at Abzan Enters in Alchemy. Um, what is Abzan Enters? Well, I wanted to build a deck with Terra Asunder in it. Why do we want to build a deck with Terra Asunder in it? Because of the One Ring. The One Ring is an indestructible artifact, so we need an exile target artifact uh, ability. The first three lines on this card, if you ignore the kicker, exile target artifact. That's what we need. Now it's flexible, so it lets us remove non land permanents as long as we have black mana to spend. Hence the thought of Abzan, and then why not add an extra colour in and make it more interesting? Uh, why have I done that? Because of the delighted halfling is fun, right? This is a 1 2 uh, halfling citizen, add colourless for tap, or you can tap add one mana of any colour, but spend it only to cast a legendary spell, and that spell can't be countered. Very, very nice in certain matchups. Um, so, we've only got a very light bottom end, as you can see, with the Halflings and the three Terra Sunders. One Gwenna for being able to cast some of our big creatures. Two Cami of Mourning. This is a weird inclusion, but it's to give us a little bit of ball white protection. So, when Cami of Mourning enters the battlefield, target creature you control, or creature in your graveyard perpetually gains. When a creature you control greater amount of value than this card dies, return this card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. If we can get this on one or two of our creatures, we basically become a bit board white proof and only really died to farewell. That's the idea anyway. One Lauren of the third path because it's a legend for Delighted Halfling and also it gives us a little bit of extra artifact and enchantment removal. Not sure if we need it with the Terra Sunder, but we are only running one, so we'll run with it for now. We're running three, City Stalker Connoisseurs. City Stalker Connoisseur is a four costing three, three a vampire with death touch. When it enters the battle for target opponent's cards, a non-land card with the greatest mana value among cards in their hand, and we create a blood token. This was really, really played heavily when it came out. It seems less play now, um, but being able to get rid of things like Farewell out of an opponent's hand has a big, big advantage for our deck. So that is why I've decided to run it here. Running two, Invasion of Innistrad, which is a battle um, from the March of the Machine um, set, and this is a, ba a battle with cost four with flash, it's got five points, uh, what are they called, siege points, uh, defense counters. Mm. When the invasion of Enestrad enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls, it's minus 13, minus 13, and turn to turn, and it flips into the Age of the Dead, which lets us exile stuff from their graveyard and get, um, get tokens. Skyfish Spider is a four costing two and black and a green, a three three spider with reach, when it enters the battlefield, we sacrifice another creature. Part of why Cami of Mourning could be half decent in this deck is because we have a little sack outlet here so we can give a creature the ability to always come back and we can then sack that creature and get it back again later. When Skyfish Spider dies, you may gain one life each creature card in your graveyard. If you do, exile Skyfish Spider from your graveyard. Now, you may be wondering what this quite eclectic set of creatures is doing and it's all about Elish Norn, Mother of Machines. She is why this is an Abzan Enters deck. Because Elish Norn is a 5 costing mythic card, 4 7 for Exim Praetor, legendary, with vigilance. And if opponent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of opponent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. This effect, it's been on a couple of cards throughout Magic history, is just so much fun. I actually love this effect. I just think it makes games hilarious. Would I say this is the best card? No. Would I say this is one of the most fun cards? Absolutely. Luke. I love this card. Um, and that is why we can give two things the ability to perpetually come back. We can kill two artifacts or enchantments. We can make our opponent discard their two highest cost cards. We can give two creatures minus 13, minus 13. We can destroy two non-land permanents. And the show goes on. We have Sheldrick to make them sack two non-token creatures or planeswalkers. We have two Invasion of Tolvada to bring back two non-battle permanent cards from the graveyard to the battlefield. Not to mention that when this flips it has the ability to give us an extra token every turn and tokens get plus one plus zero and have a life link. Well, Invasion of Innistrad gives us tokens as well, so there's a nice little bit of synergy there. We're running three Leyline Bindings, which is why I'm running the full set of um, all, the, all these four different uh, Trilands that all provide white mana, because if we can play one of these on turn one and another one on turn two, we can play Leyland Binding for one. Uh, if we have the Lejeune down by the time we play Leyland Binding, this is going to exile two things. Uh, Hourglass Coven is going to let us draft tw <laughs> four times from the book, so we get four hands, which will pretty much shut any game down. 
One titan of industry I won't go through. The interesting inclusion, perhaps, which you may not expect, is Dusk Mangler. Now, this is a seven costing horror and has an additional cost to cast a spell. Sacrifice a creature, discard a card, or pay four life. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature, discards a card, and loses four life. And now, this isn't legendary, but it won't matter by the time we get to seven. We'll have two black sources. We have one Gwenna that can help us get there more quickly. But really, if we ever get this to trigger twice of Elish Norn, it's just comedy gold. They sack two creatures, they discard two cards, and they lose eight life. I mean, it's just game over. So we've got this in there for the comedy. Um, not to mention that we do have a little bit of sort of reanimation theme going on because we have Invasion of Tolvada, which can bring creatures back. If we put any of these creatures in our graveyard or even Leyland Binding, uh, using the blood tokens that our City Stalk Connoisseur, uh, we can get them back. And if we get them back and we've like put the Cameo Morning effect on Sheldred or Elish Norn, then we'll get this back if this dies. And like there's lots of little recursion going on here. It's a fun deck. Is it the best? I'm going to guess not. I haven't really played with it very much. I'm going to guess not. But I think it's going to be fun and I think it's going to hold its own. There's only one way to find out and that's let's play some games and see how we get on. And here we go. Fire up the engines. I'm not sure about Double Dusk Mangala, to be honest. Gwen is nice. The range of land is nice. We do rely on top decking you know, uh, a binding or something to keep us going though. But no, let's try it. Sod it. Sleeper is okay. Let's have a cut down the way. Oh no, it's not because this you can just reactivate sleep. Right? Yeah. Uh, let's try playing this. Could be killed, but that's okay. Give them some little stuff to kill, and we can maybe resolve some big stuff. Oh, maybe we should untap. Nah. the spider which obviously we can't trigger but we can also do the binding or we can do Elish Norn block this potentially die if they have a removal I think we need to do the other option discard the other mangler I think.
<laughs> Interesting that they had a trespasser all along. The last thing must be a shelter or something then. We have a tower asunder, so. Or I suppose it could be. Yeah, it is a shelter. So we can get rid of Shelly before we lose life. attack. Maybe they have invoked despair as well now. And we're about to find out. Cannot believe they actually have that. At least we're not dead this turn. Maybe we should just come in rather than get cute. I think so. to play with Elish Norn, but the interaction actually worked surprisingly well. I like that. Alright. We've had one success, even with a bit of a dodgy start here, I would say. Um, this looks better, because we can play a half thing on turn one, as long as we get a bit more land. Obscure storefront. Plains, Iron, Swamp, eh? Okay, even better. Looks like we're mono green, but we are anything but. So green, black, white. Let's see all our colours. Let's put this on black. Scry. Don't think we need Titan just at the moment. That gets us up to five. <laughs> okay, that's one of them down. Get the Commissar in, then if we do find something big we can discard it and then Invasion. When I win. Yeah, we'll sack this. Connoisseur? I think so. Yeah, okay, they actually had a way of removing stuff from our graveyard. That's interesting. Okay. Graveyard. Gosh, they're really opposed to graveyards. But... I don't think we need Lauren here. Yeah. So, if we do this and kill the cleric, we could attack. Meh. We end up discarding Gwenna. I think we'll just get rid of Lily. Now they just got this pointless cleric. We just need to find ourselves a um, Elish Norm. Okay, that's probably all the land we need. We can start blooding away anymore, and we'll hold on to this to kill whatever comes that we don't like. give us some good late game potential. How are they going to hold this for now? Could be useful. A 
liked. Yeah. And you think you can win? The halfling can finally go. One of your friends has to leave. So I think we'll attack this. Because we'll get a token to uh, this we can discard. Could bring back a halfling. Nah, we'll wait. Okay, Brent's getting around as well. This should grind us out the game with this against this type of grindy deck because it's we're running twilight so we know it's quite grindy. Drop it. Thankfully nothing that can block. We'll just say no to that. Yeah that could be good. So let's kill Lily, do damage to this. Spider. Sack that, kill one of these. Just so they don't build up. Yeah. There's lots of ways to get land out. I quite like the deck. I wonder if it's got Avernus in it, because there's lots of cheap creatures there. I don't know. Doesn't quite feel like an Avana step, not creaturey enough. Gosh, more of this land. So let's do. Let's attack this and get this done, because then we get two, two twos. All of our tokens are. Yeah, better, which is good. Can play this, I think. We might as well bring back Lauren now because we might want to trigger this and uh, we can kill one of those mites. Yeah, okay. Starting to grind. Did say it would be a grind. Oh, come on. Now we're going to have to grind back up again. We did get away with getting rid of the ring though, which is also lucky. Are you kidding me? This ends today. Can you not just top deck more of these like clerics or something now? You're coming with me. Okay, let's get rid of that. I don't really want to land. Let's get rid of that. Can we find something of any use? It's a bit of use. Okay, we might be able to get rid of the Wanderer. Oh, we should have two, three, but oh my god. What is this? Three, five, I think we've got eight lands and nearly halfway through their deck. This is a nonsense, this game. They've literally top decked perfectly so many times in a row. Okay. <laughs> We're up 
30 like there are 22. It's not like there's a fast resolution. There better be a land. Fast resolution to this game. Yeah, fine. They must have more. Yeah, they are. Just in case there is an ascent from a burner in there somewhere. Or indeed their own invasion of Polvada. Why is this taking so long? Okay. Sorcery speed sweepers, so let's not do that. Let's do that. This is actually getting bonkers. <laughs> Nobody knows Dominic. <laughs> Creatures have you got? Ambitious farmhand. So, like so. I guarantee they're top of board right Fine. now. I'll take my zombies and leave. Because this is where we're going to have a commanding war again, so this is where the war work comes. It's coming. Please be a land. When was the last time you had a land? Hey, look, why are they attacking if it's not a board work? Oh, they're not attacking. I swear they're going to attack then. What have we got? Let's get rid of one of these. this one so we can work out what colours we want these white are probably one of them right so no ah uh, don't fragment reality my halfling poor feeding hoot fragment ah that is worse that is definitely worse um so, we can play this. Sweet. So, what are these? Yeah, okay, we're good with colours pretty much. This can go black. 
don't need double white really for anything, do we? No. Um, we don't. Oh, we need triple green for Titan, but we've only got one of them. Black. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? Come on, let me attack you. Attack all the homes and villages. True Gandalf with Gandalf sleeves, Gandalf skin. Um, so should we put this on green? Maybe we should. Not that we're anywhere near casting this Titan, but we've already got double black. Uh, we need a land, so we'll take a land. Okay, so this is definitely a Gandalf One Ring deck. One Ring? Yeah. C'est la vie. There's the board right now, we're in a bit of trouble, but maybe we'll get to Hourglass Coven. It's a shame this doesn't trigger this. tapped out and they can't tap this again. We'll get rid of it. They could have a farewell. But at least they're using it for one enchantment. And it resets the number of counters. They could just have another one ring. They could fragment this, but it's a six drop, so there's a chance we'll get something good, like an additional one. They are fragmenting it. <laughs> Sadly, we can't destroy that. Uh, not that we got creatures to sack anyway, but I meant we couldn't because it's got indestructible. Um, indestructible. This should enter tapped. That would be. That would fix this card. Come on, how boring. Boring, boring, boring. This is why we want Terra Sunders. Where are our Terra Sunders? Before the opponents managed to draw their entire deck, it would be nice to draw Terra Sunder. Not that it's going to work anymore because they've got this open mana. Let's swing it to Fairy. See if anything happens to our little spider. This will get countered. It should do. ridiculous thing about this card is all you need to do is draw one of these unions and you're good again because you'll always have loads of cards in your hand. Whatever. Whatever. We're too far behind. Need your Terra Sunders in that matchup. Let's just move on. Alright. Let's move on from being Gandalf see if uh, we can get some some stuff rolling. We haven't got any green land. Just snap get this because I assume this had green in it. But oh, loads and loads of sources, so we'll find one. Mm, can't quite cast that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, We'll get rid of that. Why not? Not let them build up to the the ring tempts you. Okay, 
Okay. Yeah, we actually want that, don't we? Let's go the greedy route and try an LS Norm first. We've got through a couple of destroys, so nah. it was a good time to try it. At least this might survive well now. our opponent struggling for lands. That's going to work. GG. And that'll convince by the Nazgulls. They're cool. But they're not that good. Am I right? I am beast. Could be good. Well, it looks like we might not be against the one ring for a change. There's something that we want to get rid of, so. What you got? Show me what you got. Say Magic the Gathering Arena on them. Choose a card name. Interesting. Don't know what you're going to name. Maybe Late Iron Binding due to the... Or maybe the One Ring. That's what I would name. Okay. Not a bad shout. Cool, we can play this, that'll take this down to one. Not that we can play it this turn, but. You doing nothing? Brits are prepared. Okay. You can discard a Zop and Drow. Zop and Drow. 
Oh, a wild deck, whatever this is. Yeah. Let's go with this. They don't seem to have removal. Show them what you got. Show them what you got. That's not going to help you with the hellish norn around, giving it life. Oh, yeah, we'll go with one of these. Yeah, we will pay the three life. And two things. It's an absolute random pile that our opponents play. <laughs> yeah, not convinced by that one, my friend. GG. Okay. Back to playing against the uh, Platinum 2. So let's see. Let's see where we're at. So if we put some green. Yeah. Could be okay. You can go with one of these. Sleeper. Okay. Is there much point untapping it? What could they play on turn three? Celestus. Unlikely. I say we square eye. It's fine round. I've only got one more. As much as I love Elish Norn. Yeah. I don't blame you for putting your eggs in the sleeper's basket for now because you forced me to do something about it. Hold on to your cards. I was just holding on in case they were going to waste mana on that or try and cast one ring. Uh, yeah, okay. Could catch and invoke the spare or something, so it's worth doing. Gives his command, so they could have invoked the spare, which would get them a uh, sleeper back. Okay, just a shell. That's okay. So we've got one green, two green. This could go on green, and then we're one off Titan, which could be good. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of that. No point taking damage for no reason. Yeah, okay. We've got the land then for Titan, so... Coming as well. Yeah, this is starting to look okay. Got an answer for the one ring if they have it. Yeah. That's a bit annoying, but they only, it's only a sleeper, which we've managed to reset back. Let's get this in. Don't want to try and do a shield counter because they can just kill this in response.
Sheldred is definitely worth tearing asunder. Hmm. Maybe we'll just sky fisher. Just in case the one ring is cropping up. throw this crossroads away actually with this. We've got um, two invasion of Tolvada so I think having a Titan in the in the graveyard is actually worth having. Yeah okay. Could have played this and untapped it to hold open like uh, the full tear but this has this deck has to be playing the one ring. So we want to make sure that if they have a copy of that we can get rid of it. Yeah, fine, so maybe we'll end up using it on shelter. bring back a new line binding, but then Titan is very tempting, isn't it? What are you saying I can use this on? I don't get it. What? What? understand what I could cast this on. Why is it holding priority? I mean now, yes, but why was it holding it before? One, two, three, six. If we draw a land, we could hold open tear and play coven. Okay. Let's play this and hold open tear. Because Sheldred's only really a problem if they have the one ring. There, maybe. Or it could be a Gix's command. They could also have a one ring. Okay. Fine. It's making this look a bit more tempting to bring the uh, ley line in. But given that they could easily have uh, another invoke despair. Before Oh no, we know that they had a Gix thing. It could be worth getting rid of this for arena. Can I cast this at the spider? Of course not. Okay, we'll have to cast this. We could bring back the Titan. Because we'd happily block the shoulder at the moment. This gives us access to the Sky Fisher, which means we could flip this, which would be massive. It's drawn out a lot of lands, so they're unlikely to draw a lot more. So they're probably going to top deck reasonably well at the moment. And they can draw on here. Yeah, we've got to get rid of Shelby with ASAP.
Okay, and then we'll swing at the invasion. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if that block. I wonder if they are running the one ring, because they've gone through 23 cars and not found one. Hmm. They're desperately keeping their shoulder of hopes alive. I know they've got a spare one, but this lets us flip invasion and we save ourselves two life, stop them gaining two life. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we can land the spray. I suppose they've got plenty. They hit them a lot. Or maybe they didn't do it in time to lock. That's unfortunate. I think we should play this rather than get rid of it because it gives us a scry as well. We're actually a little short on land. That's only actually our eighth land. And the scry could be good. Yeah. Save us drawing a dud. This is obviously good, but we're now out of removal for Sheldred. Thankfully, we're getting some flying life linkers. Which will make a big difference. Um, I suppose. I haven't got any removal at the moment. I think I should have gone for one of the metal ones. It's quite an even game still. My opponent's got over double our life and shelter, but yikes. I think it's worth blooding this, even though it's going to cost us life. That's pretty decent. We've got this constant tick back in our favour. Ah oh, man, we have to try this first. Because if we can double this, we'll just win on the spot. Yeah, okay. Bing. Literally, we can kill you this time. And that is why the additional dust mangler combo is good. That was a fun one, but we actually had to grind it out, and we did grind it out. And then we ranked up. Sweet. Next one. Ah, oh, I need to take this out. We don't want Lauren in there because it doesn't kill the one artifact that matters. Ridiculous um, practice of making the artifacts indestructible there. Uh, gonna probably want to keep that as an untapped plan, so let's get a green source in. Red, black, green, yeah, we've got all the colours now. Nice girl, whatever. Uh, maybe we go with the halfling, since we're likely to come against removal. Better to have this kill than this killed. Call of the ring. Yeah, oh, that would have been there. would have been another kill out of that. A bit annoying. Don't really see that card running up from Goblin's Bite. Um, so we could Lauren kill the Call of the Ring. Could be worth it. Could 
could be worth it. Let's play this then. And this. Pew! More golems by. At least we can play. Uh... Ah, yeah, yeah, I've got to get rid of this. I've got to stop this. to block one of these, assuming it doesn't get removed. Mm, their cards cost the same. <laughs> Good knowledge. Which is three, which probably means everyone's a destroy spell. Oh, it's another Nazgul! Damn. Pretty good. Let's do it now so they don't get to unmask with that. Let's ditch Gwena. Better off finding a land. That's not a land. But it does enable the Skyfish Spider, so. Because then we can play this and sack it to Skyfish Spider. Oh, we die, because that was three extra. No, I lost the Nazgul after insulting them. It's very thematic, I suppose. Got unlucky there. I'm ready. I'm ready, Platinum One. Magic Maniac. Going first. And we've got a Halfling in our hand. Life can be good. White, eh? So it's gonna be black white. Tokeny deck. Black white tokeny. Mono white tax. Blue white Gandalf. Yeah, I suppose that is always an option. what they could play that we want to do use this on but I've got no better players. Mm. Can't believe they're passing. What does that mean? Is this all board wipes? Scrutiny. Nothing. I'm so confused what is happening. I 
nothing. Just put that perpetually on this one as well. Force them to actually start exiling our ship. I guess we could play like Sheldred, but we're just giving them more things to board wipe if we do that. But how are they playing nothing? They don't have any instants that just draw them cards. They're up to seven. Hole Breaker Horror. At least this could be good. Okay. What have they got five, four copies of this in their hand? Um I guess they'll just run this down. I get unscoured thoughts because we need to force them to do something. I don't think they care about these. They're just going for the one poison damage and then wiping the board again. That would be my prediction. Another White Sun's Twilight. Or something else, Farewell or something. Yeah. Da, da, da. At least we get these back. and tunes in the Lord of the Rings set there. Bit of uh, Hobbit country music. Here we go again, boys and girls. At least we'll get this one back. Yeah. There's a funky shit going on here. You and you there. You and you there. You there. So we've already got seven lands. Can we make it eight? Probably. The thing is, they. They let us kill this, they then fare well, I suppose. Maybe that's what they want. Get rid of them as enchantments, throw and leave the battles on the board. Should have left one as a battle, maybe. I think we'll just hold these. Holebreaker Horror? I mean, it's good, but we've got so many tokens, there's a lot to get rid of. Silver Screech, I think, okay. Top the hand back up. Find the farewell if they haven't got it already. Our tokens have got lifelink now, so they're not going to want to think about attacking. So we'll just get farewell first. They've got eight mana. 
but maybe they're running the six cost on the six three and then everything costs one less, that would be good in this type this type of deck. Okay, yep. Yeah. Soul partitions down. Um, let's make you discard. Some more repair and recharge. The thing is, we don't actually want to take this damage, this poison. Should I even play this? Just as a blocker. This is a blocker. I think we want to hold open Deluge of the Dead mana in case there's some funky reanimation shit going down. Because they have got this, so there's probably, maybe they're running uh, the portal to Phyrexia, maybe? Sun's Twilight's down already, so there's only one more way to create these, and they're exiled as well, so they can't even get them back. Okay, here's the farewell. So let's throw this Gwen out, because that's no use to us. Unlikely to be able to activate Sheldred. Good for the ring, I suppose. Interesting card. See, two and one on bottom. Okay. Thank goodness we've got our tail and sun back on. to draw another way to deal with the ring. So they must be running Union, are they? Yeah, not they haven't played one yet, but that's the only way that the ring is good. We don't want more lands. Opponents gone through a huge amount of their deck. So then, this is the wind con, this plus the mites. You're only milling me. Yeah. I 
they're more likely to mill themselves at this rate. They must have another Jace. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't get any Elish Longs this game. One got milled. Three still in the deck. In 23. Uh-oh. I don't think that we're ever beating this opponent now. How many Jaces are they missing? One. Two. Only two, and they must be rank four. They're getting rid of graveyards. Interesting. Get rid of this. left in the deck. Three Elish Norns and one City Stalk comes uh, <laughs> I think we're going to win. I don't think we can win. Unfortunately, we're going to lose to the mill. One, two, three Jaces. So there's one left, so they just gotta find the last chase and we lose. <laughs> They're digging. So what are they? They got farewells, soul partitions. I wonder what the repair and recharge is doing for them. Bringing back the one ring that doesn't die. But what are they bringing back? Jace, uh, Jace, okay. To, to finish the game then. Oh my god. So there's any... Ah, uh, the deck tracker's broken on that. It doesn't know how many lands I got left. I can't be bothered to count them all. Why isn't there like a count here? Just of card types. They're down to seven, but a lot of them's a Jace, right? Or a repair and recharge. I know, because there's no Jaces in the graveyard for this one. They haven't found it? They must have. No. What's this? God's sake. Jace with Crossroads. They're playing well. Gotta say that, they are playing well. Bottom, so it wasn't a Jace. <laughs> they don't want to tap the ring anymore. This will be countered or destroyed in some way, but we've got to try. At least we can build this actual deck if we want to now. Thing is, they basically can't tap their ring anymore. 
because they go behind in the middle game. In case their Jace is the bottom card, they can't use this. Can you make them draw? That doesn't make them, it's a you may. More Elishnor? More stroke? No. It must be farewell or something. And we have to play this out now, even though I actually don't see how we win. <laughs> so they don't gain protection from everything. Do you want to discard two? I've only got one card left in my <laughs> in my library. They haven't got any farewells. Depopulate and silver. So they've they've not got any depopulates left either. Look, we're gonna do seven damage to them as well. They'll tap this. No? We didn't even tap it. So our last card is, uh, what, not an additional one, I think we've gone through them all now. Yeah. Ah. The last light since twilight. Good game. Okay, let's have a little look you see at the win rate. So I managed to play 12 games with this in total. I think eight or nine of them were in the video. Um, over an hour and a half, so it's not the quickest, but then we did play against Blue White Gandalf twice and yeah, both lost. I would say against decks that can counter, a deck with a high curve like this and things like, that have lots of removal like Gandalf decks, it's gonna struggle. Hence why we struggle against Blue White and Blue Black. Um, however, Mono Black, which is the deck that you tend to see the one ring in, we're doing okay. Thank you, Terra Sunder, and thank you, uh, Leyline Binding. I might try and find another shell that runs these two cards, because it seems quite good. I mean, the Elish Nord is kind of jokes, um, probably not the most competitive shell, although as you can see, we are still climbing. Um, but yeah, I, you know, for the fun value, and this deck is actually good enough to play. That, that's my opinion. I think it's a lot of fun. Should we ditch the Dusk Mangler? Probably. We should probably get rid of the Lauren. We should probably stack some sort of cheaper or potentially cheaper remover. I'm thinking the White March. Um, maybe we should add a little extra way of milling stuff into our deck to make a bit more out of the invasion. I don't know. Basically, it's a bit too like. It's trying to do too many things at once, but that's part of what makes it fun and part of why I wanted to show you guys this deck. So I hope you had fun watching it. I hope that if you do build this, you have some fun playing it. I don't know. Be interested to see how you guys get on because this, this win rate isn't actually that bad. Um, obviously, I am only in Platinum because I haven't been playing that much recently, uh, but we're going to try and climb myself back up to Mythic before the next one. Um, I think a, a good hard day's work and we'll probably be back there. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it as always. Um, and I think I'll be back with another deck um, potentially tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Bye for now. See you next time.